this cool ass alien mask. Look at this thing. Look how awesome this is. It's awesome. It's so awesome. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And I'm at Old Thrifty Pants on a Monday morning. About to head in there to see what kind of goodies they got. Gonna keep my fingers crossed. Gonna pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today and pray that the gods keep Carson away. Carson and Hendrix. Those two guys, man, they've been getting the drop on me lately. I gotta stay one step ahead of them. That's the name of the game. One step ahead. That's all it takes. It takes one step. One step ahead of them. Right? Even if I have to shove and push Carson out of Carson out of the way to get that one step. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right. Let's head in here and see what we can get. Now, I don't know if I should say expect very much today because yesterday was their 25% off Sunday gig. Oh, here's a Spider-Man. He's kind of different. I don't think I'm that interested in him, though. But he's definitely different than others I've seen in the past. Is there a year on him? 2008, huh? Hmm, well, I'll at least look him up. You never know. Uh, this Cookie Monster with the guitar is still here. And we got a gold Power Ranger. This one always kind of reminds me of uh, Texas. You know, I got that Lone Star face. Kind of looks like a cowboy hat, sort of like a space cowboy hat. All right. I'm not really seeing anything else here, guys. There is this Batman, maybe a Captain America. Oh yeah, wow, he's got some major paint wear. Why is that with him? Why do all the Captain Americas have that paint wear on their nose? Well, it turns out uh, he sells for about 12 bucks with free shipping. And uh, his, the black lines on his mask are all faded out as well. They're asking five dollars for him, so I'm probably gonna pass on him. But he does talk. It's made by Hasbro, 2008. But we're gonna pass on you, Spidey. Good luck, my friend. All right, first store of the day. Busted. Just a little light tap. I don't know how many stores we're gonna hit up today. I don't know if we'll hit up all five like I normally do on Friday, or whether we'll just hit up a few here. And then maybe head back to the colony and head up a few. I don't know. I have no idea what today's adventure, where we're going to go. You know, I have no idea where it's going to take us. So it'll be a surprise for everyone, including myself. Let's head off to the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. We are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. Let's check it out. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we got on the shelves? This little troll looking thing. A little ducky. Some Wonder Woman stuff. I don't know what that is. Like a card game. Pencils, puzzles. Oh, look at all those pencils. Oh, that's cool. All right, what else? Pretty cool looking. E.T. Hong Kong. E.T. Hong Kong. What's this right here? Oh, we got a Peanuts coloring board. It's like a piece of particle board that you can color with these markers. Make her look just like that. Oh, what do we got here? A hover UFO. So we got an alien face and we got a UFO. What's <laughs> this guy? Boomer. Squeezable Sworn Fun. Oh yeah, normally I see these as like cows and chickens and stuff like that. Now he's, they got these little leprechaun guys. I guess he's like a zombie or something, huh? A zombie leprechaun? Oh, I got a dual set of Braveheart. All right, we'll probably pick that up. 
Monster Inc. on VHS, huh? So you don't have 2001. Wow, that came out in 2001? Wow, I feel like it was yesterday it came out. I'm gonna check these guys out. Like, I found these bendy figs before, but I didn't know that they actually had vehicles and shit like that. That's kind of cool. Probably goes with, like, this firehouse and police house right here. Yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, gang, I got my haul. It's time for a little show and tell. All right, first up, five Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director, Mel Gibson in Braveheart. This is a freaking awesome movie. And uh, now I'm the proud owner of it on VHS. I also picked up this cool ass alien mask. Look at this thing. Look how awesome this is. It's awesome. It's so awesome. I am going to be ready for the alien invasion. You know, the U.S. government just said that a mothership, they suspect a mothership has entered into our solar system. No joke. They actually said this. And they think that they are deploying like spacecraft to Earth to observe us. <laughs> I have a feeling they're going to be launching Project Bluebeam soon where they're going to like fake an alien invasion. But that's another story for another time. But if the real aliens do show up, I might not be harmed by them because they might say, oh, look, he's one of us. He is one of us. He's one of us. Do not harm him. Was that a good alien? All right, but anyway, so I got this mask, man. <laughs> getting hot under there. <laughs> so you got people out there looking at me. <laughs> so all right, guys. Well, we got the alien mask. We got some brave heart. We are on a roll right now. Well, actually, we're not like on a roll, roll. But hey, it's a good start considering we just got busted at Thrifty Pants. So let's head on over to Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, my friend. We're at the world famous Thrift City, home of the inglorious glass case. Let's see what we can find in here. Hey, you know, one of my subscribers, I can't remember which one it was. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. But I can't remember which one it was, but they were like, a few weeks ago, they were like, hey, I think there's like a ants in your pants game there on the shelf. Well, ever since then, I've made a few trips back here, a couple trips at least, two, three. And uh, I wasn't able to find it. And then in my last video for my five thrift store Friday, she said, hey, that, uh, I think it was a girl, I think. <laughs> she said, uh, hey, uh, that uh, ants in your pants is still on the shelf there. It turns out I was looking in the wrong place for it. So hopefully it's in here today. If it is, if it's vintage, we'll pick it up. So if it's not, we'll leave it on the shelf. But all right, let's see what we can find. All right. Oh, look at this. We got unicorn ice cream. <laughs> All right, so that game was like here, I think. I think it was here in this section, but maybe they moved them down here. Well, first of all, let's at least look at the shelves. Is there anything here we can pick up today? What's this? San Jose, Le Mans, Punta Arenas. Heredia. What is that? It's like some sort of map. Look at that cat. It's disgusting. <laughs> All right. Cat tongues are gross. All right. Oh, here's a uh, gooey Louie. He's still here. We almost picked him up the other day. World World's most difficult jigsaw puzzle. Damn, that is a big claim to fame. Pink tags are 50% off. Okay. What's this down here? Is it a liquid or a solid? It's both. Okay. Lots of puzzles. Big boom blast. Kodak color puzzle. All right. Where is the ants in yo pants? We got toilet archery <laughs> play when you sit it's funny <sighs> let's see mad professor science kit i have one of these at the house actually i've never opened it i wonder what's inside this one mm. some fun stuff looks like some uh what do they call those? Like some sort of flask, right? I forget what it's called. What are these things called? 
help me out guys comment below what, are they, what do they call these things like a i think it's some sort of flask oh look it's a backpack 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 all right what's this down here table stop shoot activate funny game all right I don't see the ants in your pants game here, so maybe somebody bought it. Keep it hot. Do I have a color? I'm probably looking right at it and just passing over it and don't even realize it. Friendly Critters, American Jigsaw Puzzle. Password. Oh, that's an old version of that, too. That's got to be from like the 70s or 80s. We got this magic glow puzzle. I guess it's like a glow in the dark, huh? All kinds of puzzles here today. Tons and tons of puzzles. Just an ATV. We got this guy. Hmm. 2001 Mattel. Is that like a Rescue Heroes snowmobile, possibly? That's what I'm thinking. I think that's what the R stands for. Oh, we got that busted up Chinook. All right, guys, I think the shelves are going to bust us today. I'm doing a little under the shelf stuff, just in case there's something under there. All right, let's try this one. Let's move some of this stuff. I don't know this so we can easily lift it. Lots of clothes under there, dang. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All these glasses are still in here. Looks like there's some sort of like Fisher Price toy in there. I don't know what that is. But other than that, I don't really see anything in this case worth getting. All right, gang, we got busted at Thrift Shitty. It lived up to its name today. All right, let's go check out old Thrifty Pants off of Mill Street and see what's over there. All right, gang. Let's rock it out. All right, let's see if we can find anything. I only got one of these claw games, the claw. I actually have one of these. I got it filled up with candy. It doesn't work too well though. Kind of need to get rid of it. <laughs> All right. Well, these shelves look pathetic. Yeah, there's like nothing here, guys. We're gonna get busted hardcore. You know, like the coolest thing here is this robot dog. That's it. And he ain't even that cool. All right, y'all. Busted again. Let's go hit up the Goody Wheel and then we'll head back to my house. And on the way, we'll stop at the Colony and maybe another Goodwill. We're gonna get something today, guys. I'm bound and determined. All right. Here we are, the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got something good in here. You know what I'd like to find? I'd like to find one of those Sega Genesis systems like Hendrix found that day. He didn't find it here. I think he found it at the other Goodwill, but still I'd like to find something like that. That'd be awesome. All right, what we think about is what we bring about. Our innermost dominant thought becomes our outermost tangible reality. Let's focus on finding something vintage. All right, now that we've worked our magic, Let's go. All right, well, they got their carts out, so maybe they've been putting new stuff on the shelves. Look at those little salt and pepper shakers. Oh, those are cute. Our little, well, actually, they're not even salt and pepper shakers. They're just like little cake toppers. Let's 
see what's this. Star Wars Art Studio. Hmm. It's kind of neat. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, look at this tank buster. Okay, let's see. Can we find any other goodies? Got this whole Black and Decker tool belt kit. Here's some Harry Potter stuff. Anything else? Doesn't look like it, guys. <sighs> We're not going to find anything here either. Yeah, just not really feeling this dude, but he's like the coolest thing here. Anything else? Anything in Plushville? Nope. Nothing. Alright guys, we just got busted. Monday is giving us a bit of the Monday blues. But the uh the shining light in all of this is uh the silver cloud is this alien mass. So check this thing out, right? So I looked this thing up and it's called an Area 51 alien mask. And I think like on March 8th, it sold for $49.50. And I got it for $2.52, I think is what it was. Yeah, 252, 252, 252, 252. So yeah. How cool is that, man? We can like 25 times our money if we sell it. So I don't know. I might uh, keep it and maybe make some future videos with it and then eventually get rid of it. But all right, let's go hit up old Thrifty Pants in the colony, Thrift Giant, see what kind of goodies they got. And maybe we can pull out a score over there. All right. Well, we're here. We have arrived. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Oh, they got a big box back here. And just kind of glance in here. I don't think it really has anything in it that I'd be interested in. I see like a Scooby-Doo, a Grogu, Thomas the Train down there in the bottom right. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. All right, we got a Thor. Talking Captain America. And he still has paint wear on his nose, too. Got a monster truck. Got a faceless baseball player. Mr. Wonderful is still here. Oh, look at this. That's a nice, what is that? Chevy Chevelle S Super Sport 454. That's nice. Look at those nitrous tanks in the back. That is cool. Oh, we got this jungle play set. And just a bunch of kid stuff. All right, here's a little dinosaur. Some sort of play set here. It's got the Statue of Liberty. Oh, it's from the movie Planes. Okay. Look at this thing. Dang. What the heck does that even go to? Maybe you guys know and you can help me out in the comments below. All right, guys, it's getting down to the wire. We got busted here, too. We got uh, one more stop. Maybe we'll hit up Grace Bridge too, since it's right across the street from the last Goodwill. But if we don't find something, then the only thing we're gonna end up with is that Braveheart VHS and that alien mask. All right, fingers crossed. One more prayer. I pray that the thrift gods, the vintage thrift gods are good to me today. Maybe it takes just that little extra prayer, you know? All right, I'll see you over there. All right, y'all. We are at the Goody Wheel. <laughs> Goody Will, Frisco, Texas. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? All right, so we'll probably hit this place up and then check out old Grace Bridge across the street. Let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, let's see. It's an op 
Optimus Prime that doesn't transform. And a transformer that's missing his head. Well, this guy's still here. All right, wonder if there's anything here. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Now we got a cement mixer. All right, well, we got busted. We got busted there too. I should just call this video busted. All right, well, we got one last shot, old Grace Bridge over here. So, <laughs> that's a long shot, man, because it's not often I find stuff over here. Although the other day, you guys uh, might have seen the, uh, the YouTube short video I made, or maybe I also posted it to my Instagram reel but I found a Red Rider BB gun and uh, I ended up um, shooting a Scooby-Doo with it. <laughs> but I found that Red Rider here at Grace Bridge. I got it 50% off too, which was cool. I got it for like 15 bucks. All right, guys, let's see what we got in here. All right. What do we got? Oh yeah. Nobody's buying these little guys, probably because they're overpriced. They had this. See, they want 20 bucks for that. I think I can get it half off today, but still, I don't want it. Cross dart. Got some plushies over here. What's this? Oh, we got a dancing hamster. But nothing else. Hey, it's the magic school bus. Gets lost in space. Got that, and we got some Goof Troop. I never, I never watched that cartoon, though. That was after I had become a teenager and didn't watch cartoons. Let's see. Walking on air for the boys. A river runs through it. I don't think I've ever watched an episode of the Magic School Bus, either. 1995. Look at this, we got Christmas 1995. Hmm. If they had kids, I wonder if they'd have toys on this. That's somebody's home tape. I might buy this. Okay, now my only concern is that there's a piece broken off in there. I don't know. I kind of definitely want, I, I, I'd like to get it because I'd like to see what's on it. Maybe I can uh, get it out of there. All right, so I was able to fish it out. I don't think that will interfere with the play. You know, I mean, it's worth spending a couple bucks on it just to see what's on there. All right, I picked it up and here's the best part. She sold it to me for 27 cents, but then it got kind of weird. <laughs> so she goes, you're buying this. And I said, yeah, she goes, well, what, is it a blank? And I said, no, I think it's got some stuff on it. And she's like, oh, okay, well, it'll just be 27, 20, 25 cents plus tax, right? 27 cents. And then she goes, why are you buying this? And I'm like, well, I said, I, I buy stuff like, she goes, cause you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to erase what's on there cause it belonged to somebody. I said, well, so the truth is I actually buy cassette tapes like this to see what's on them. And I told her, I said, one time I found uh, cassette tape from like 1969 and it had a college party on it with a bunch of people in blackface and KKK outfits and she's like no and I was like yeah I said so I uh I buy stuff like this sometimes just because I, I want to see what's on it and she goes you're not buying it hoping there's pornography on it and I was like no 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 I'm not hoping there's pornography on no I'm like I just I'm just curious to see what's on it that's all she goes oh she goes, I would be so sad if some child came in here and bought this and there was pornography on it. And I was like, well, you know, I'm not a kid, so you don't have anything to worry about. And I'm buying it so kids don't have to buy it. Anyway, let's head on back to the house, man. Let's head back to the bunker and pop this bad boy in 
and see what this Christmas 95 is all about. Again, I mean, it'd be kind of cool, like, if it was, like, you know, toys from 1995 that we got to see some somebody opening, you know, some kid opening, uh, parents, and all the whole nine yards. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's head back. It's time to unveil or reveal the mystery tape. All right, gang, we're back at the bunker. It's time to pop this puppy in and see exactly what's on it. All right, we <laughs> got a baby. Give me Katie. Baby Give me Katie. Baby. He's calling baby Katie like she's a dog. <laughs> Come here, baby. <laughs> Come here. Come here, baby Katie. <laughs> All right, let's fast forward and see what else is on here. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like baby Katie's getting fed. Let's fast forward some more. And here we have baby Katie with uh, Barney and some of her toys. She's like, get this out of here. I don't want this thing. Get this out of my sight. Hey, Barney? Where's Barney? Yeah, where's Barney? Looks like she's got a couple of Barneys. There's a Barney back there, a Barney right there. She was into Barney. All right, let's fast forward. All right, dad's on the scene now. Oh, well, looks like he's picking up the toys. Oh, they're gonna get ready to dance, I guess, huh? Good job, dad. Oh, look, dad's getting into it. He's like, get over here, kid. Oh, dang. <laughs> A little rough there, Dad. <laughs> All right, let's fast forward some more. Oh, what's going on here? Those are nice hardwood floors. It's a nice house. All right, let's see what else is on here. It's a nice house, though. Ah, uh, there's the Christmas tree. So they got the Christmas tree in the dining room. Upstairs balcony. Wow, dude, your place is nice. And the stairway down. Can't wait to see what these kids get for Christmas. Ah, here we go. Wow, look at all those presents. Dang. We got another little baby there. One, there's two babies. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, drama. <gasps> Man, that is a ton of presents. Like, look at all those presents. It's like boxes there, 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 behind over there. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. like some clothes or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really seeing much, guys. All right, well, I just kind of ran through the rest of the video there and there wasn't anything significant on it, just a family opening some Christmas presents and you couldn't even really tell what they were opening. The camera was too far away, but hey, it was still fun, right? Like I always love picking up tapes like that and 
kind of seeing what kind of stuff is on it, you know? So it wasn't anything too exciting, but still fun to do. Hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm wearing that hat. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.